Pedro XV, how can you pick up a customer by, I'm guessing, cold calling, walking in the door, and they're telling you the owner's not there? Is that the question, Tyler? Yes, that's it. All right. Let's say that the owner's name is Tyler, right? And you're walking in the door, and all of a sudden, Amy says, Tyler's not available. And you say, okay, Amy, I understand, but I got a briefcase full of $100 bills. Can you get Tyler on the phone? Because I'd really like to give this. So if Tyler doesn't answer the phone or call you back, it's probably not a customer. Be creative, be inventive, do something different. Cold calling is one of the hardest things and one of the things that die the quickest is because everybody's afraid to get outside the box, do something that they're not comfortable with. Right, Logan? Yeah. There you go. And then go into somebody that's not interested in a product and you're selling them a product they didn't even know they needed. So for one, is the striping faded? Is the parking lot bad? Are you trying to sell something to the customer that they don't really need your service? Majority of the time, they don't even know if it's concrete or asphalt. I can't tell you how many uh, discount autos we've done in the state of Florida, and over 200, and we've called the general manager of the store, Tyler, and I said, do you know if your parking lot's asphalt or concrete? And they're like, I don't know. I'm like, how long have you been working there? 12 years. So you've been working at a place for 12 years, and you don't know if you're walking over asphalt or concrete? So think about that. It happens. Be very creative and don't sound like a salesman. The bag money deal, that's a sales approach. I'm just trying to, you got to yank their chain in enough way that it says, you know what, that's freaking creative. I want to walk out and talk to that guy or gal. So there you go. Good luck, Pedro.